Hello, friend is Jay Kelly and James Harvey. And today, guess what? We have here to know the list of endangered birds. birds. Yes, by Jay Kelly, Kelly and, and James C. James TV. Yes, your favorite bloggers. That's <laughs> right. And first. It is eagles. Yes, Kylie, but its complete name is Philippine Eagle. Because you know why? I don't know. Because it is only found in the Philippines. Yes. We are here. Our babies. country. Yes. It's a baby and it is a mother feeding it. Yes. Feeding a it. Worm. What kind of animal it, it is? Worm. Like yes, it's meat. worm. It's a worm. So. Pitikupaga Jeffrey is the Philippine Eagle's scientific name mm -hmm. and it's also called as monkey eating eagle or great Philippine eagle. eagle. Yes, that's right. And just what I said before, it is only found in the Philippines. It was originally named the monkey eating eagle thanks to an assumption that it preyed exclusively on primates not just because it eats monkeys but yes not just only monkeys but also other animals among the rarest largest and the bigger yes biggest and the most powerful birds in the world oh. yes it has been declared the philippine national bird so it is critically endangered yes but why I don't maybe know. because mainly due to massive loss of habitat due to deforestation in most of its range no oh, that's really bad right kylie people shouldn't be doing those things yes yeah so killing a philippine eagle is punishable yeah, according to the Philippine law, there will be a punishment for killing a Philippine eagle. Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Yes, because it's their national bird. So, the people that will kill them are will be not allowed. So, yeah. under, by the Philippine law, the 12 years in jail and heavy fines. Whoa, that's really, really a long, a long time. time. You'll be, if you were ki found killed on Philippine Eagle, oh yeah. Serve you right. So, to all people in the world, even us, Kylie. Yes. To all even people around the world. Let us all help to preserve our mother nature sure. or the habitat of these endangered animals. Yes. So, besides the Philippine eagle, we have an Atlantic puffin. Oh, cute. Yeah, that's right, Kylie. It's cute and fun. Yeah, it's and fun. it's really breathtaking. And also called as Fraterkula arctica. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's its scientific name. Also known as the common puffin, with its charmingly striped beak, yes, and waddling walk. That's what made it so cute. Yes. Just like you, Kylie. How oh, cute. Yes. The Atlantic puffin has stolen hearts to the North Atlantic Ocean. Wow. Like so big green. Yeah, just like what I said, they have already six. This much love seabird even formed the inspiration for Star Wars Porgs. Yeah, yes. I remember that movie. It's yeah, yeah, called Star Wars. Five. Since its breeding colonies were too numerous to digitally remove from the swimming location on the islands of Skellig yeah. Michael Ireland. Yeah. Whoa! Amazing. So those places were actually cold. Yeah. Cold as ice. Cold water. When I say ice, yeah, ice is really contained right there, almost 
Seventy percent of the world's water is on ice. So the Atlantic puffin breeds in Iceland, Norway, and Greenland. So they have really a cold, cold climate over there. Yes, Newfoundland and the Faroe Islands. Of course. Also on the Faroe Islands, oh, I've already heard of that place. Yes, really yes. interesting. And as far south as Maine in the west and parts of Great Britain in the east, the Atlantic Puffin is most commonly found on the Westman Islands in Iceland. Iceland. It's Iceland is called Iceland because it has ice. Yeah. Almost all of its water part is covered in ice. Sadly, Sadly overfishing. No, no overfishing. No, no. Yeah, that's right, Kylie. Overfishing shouldn't be done by people, by many people. And climate change have created food shortages. Oh, that's so, so sad. That will make it. Yes. And classic sight of a puffin loading its beak with a row upon row of fish may soon be hard to come by. So, all those. Yeah, Atlantic puffin may die of hunger. Yeah. So that they may get fewer and fewer and fewer of lack of fish. Yes. yes. The species is now considered vulnerable to extinction. Yes, just like I said, they're almost extinct. So Next. number three is vultures. So What's that? There are two kinds of vultures. Oh, look at that poor monkey. It's already got eaten by a lapid faced vulture. And yes. this one is a white back vulture. In the brown one. Yes. It has black feathers. Yep. Oh, look at the slow large bones. Yes. Yep. So, so a lapid faced vulture has a scientific name called the Torgos Tratilutos. Yes. And they are endangered. Yes. Dangerous. Just like the white backed vultures is called in scientific name Gips. Africans. So, vultures are scavengers, meaning they eat dead animals. Uh, that's because they're carnivores. Doesn't mean they just act really hunt on animals that are alive. Yeah, they just wait for them to go and pass away, and they just eat them. They rarely attack healthy animals. Yep. But sometimes they may kill the wounded or sick because they are weak. They don't have enough strength to protect themselves from their predators like vultures. Okay. Today, just two of the 16 species of Old World vultures remain off the endangered list. Well, eight are classified as critically endangered and are at risk of imminent extinction. Three are endangered and three near threatened. Populations in South Asia were the first to collapse with death lines of around 95% between 1,893 and 2,000. Wow, so there are exactly only a few vultures left here in the world means they really don't exist if they all die by now Whoa. i really wish they all could they haven't disappeared because all of those bad people right kylie yes there are 23 species of vulture globally with 16 of these found in africa so you're still found a lot more vultures in Africa. Of the seven vulture species that occur in South Africa, 
all are either endangered. So, not all species, all of the species of vultures are exactly endangered. There are no vultures species of them are not endangered left. So, vulture conservation is there for a major concern for wildlife conservationists. Yes. Yes. So, a major reason why vultures are so endangered is that they are specifically targeted for their body parts. So, they are targeted by their body parts. Why? We will find out. So, these are used for traditional med medicinal purposes in the Southern Africa. So, there are actually many, many beliefs of people there in Southern Africa. Right, Kylie? Yes. They have different beliefs as what what we have here in the Philippines. So, for the swell as for meat. Many African cultures also have superstitions about vultures. Some believe that vultures are harbingers. That means they have supernatural power of death. Whoa, I wish I had that kind of power. In many areas, vultures are still illegally hunted or driven away from food sources. Really not that kind of person I would do. Yes. So, number four is the next animal called Philippine cockatoo. Also oh. found in the Philippines, just like the Philippine eagle. Yes. Kylie, it reminds me of a movie. Yeah. Don't you think it's the an animal kind of... Yeah. The enemy... The animal... Enemy, yeah. this one. And the movie name, Rio. Yes, it's awesome. Yeah, it's really awesome. I, I wish you guys have seen that movie. I think some of you have already seen though. That. And... So, Philippine cockatoo, also called as red vented cockatoo, yes, it has also local names just like the Philippine eagle, katala, kalangay, abukay, and agay. Yes, the endemic Philippine or red vented cockatoo is a small chisatin with a helmet crest, just like that, a helmet crest. Yep. Like this one? Yes, helmet crest. Whoa, so cool. Yep, so cool too. And the red under tail covers. So, the tail isn't actually show back there. The white plumage is extremely conspicuous in flight and in the foliage of the lowland. Whoa, tiptoe oh. carp and mangrove forest habitats. Whoa. Wow, that's it's amazing. It's 12.2 inches long and has a an 8.6 inches wingspan. Whoa, it has really big wind, yes, wings, like which this. helps him fly. Yes, guy, it helps him fly. Soar to the air. The Katala, as it's locally called, is a social species with roost feeds and flies in noisy groups but during the mating season from March to July bears live apart from the flock often reusing the same nesting tree year after year whoa so just like us humans when we like to party they we regroup from one house and when sometime the party finishes and we go back to our homes mm -hmm. just like the Philippine cockatoos, they go back to their nests. Yes. Yes. It is a favorite cage bird because of its ability to mimic the human voice. Wow, oh. it's really has a really great talent. Oh, yeah. I know. He likes parrot. Yeah, it's like a parrot because it's copy except that the parrot only copies what he mm -hmm. says. Yeah. yeah. Repeats what he says. But it doesn't, it doesn't mimic your voice. 
So this beautiful white cockatoo is found only in the Philippines. Mm, yes. Can mimic to the human voice? Wow, oh, it reminds me of a singer. Like me. Yeah, singer like you and also Masilito. Yeah, in Philippines. Yeah. I don't know if you guys ever known of Marcelito. He can change voices from uh, fe male to female. Yes. And girl to boy. Yeah, that's what I said before, Kylie. And a Philippine cockatoo is covered in white plumage. Yes. Just right over here. White plumage, but with bright red and yellow undertail. Yeah, and but for now, let's just imagine a... He has a tail. To it has a tail right over here. So just imagine. Okay? This stunning bird is highly sought after in the pet train. Whoa, but why? Its unusual ability to mim mimic the human voice makes this species even more desirable. Whoa, so... Yes. That's why they trade them. Okay, now I understand. Poaching, selling, and buying of cockatoos has been one of the primary causes of the decline in numbers. Yeah, but that's still also the cause of them being endangered. Yeah. Yes, Kylie. Kylie, this is educational learning. Yeah. Don't you think it's very interesting? Did you like it? Yes. So. Main groups and primary forces are vital habitat for feeding and breeding. What? Duh. These forces are being cleared for cultivation, urban development of mining, with numbers estimated at between 370 to 770 adults. Wow! So there are also a lot of Philippine cockatoos. The Philippine cockatoo is classified as critically endangered. Yep. However, they are still critically endangered. Danger. Yes. And next for our fifth endangered animal is a Negro's bleeding heart. So why, why is it called a bleed, bleeding heart? Why, uh, Kylie? I don't know no. why. Maybe because of its clear, clear. red, red feathers of here. Oh, you're right. It's because of its red feathers. Yeah. Yes. And it describes yeah. as a heart, but it's not actually a heart. It's just its feathers colors. Yeah. It's clear. so cute. Clear. Yes. He likes bleeding. Yeah. Right. yeah, it's like it looks like it's bleeding, but it's not. Yes, due to its really, really red color, and its scientific name is Valle Columba Kiai. The Negros bleeding heart was once widespread and common in the 19th century. Now, a much smaller population remains. Uh, Poor Negro's bleeding heart. They shouldn't be endangered like this. We should save Mother Nature. Yes. Yes. Later we will discuss about that. Bleeding hearts are so called because of a vivid red or orange patch of plumage on the breast of the bird that resembles a puncture wound. However, in this species, the patch is narrower yes. than in the other species. Whoa. Whoa! Of bleeding hearts. This species is part of the Columbidae family of birds, which diverge from all other bird families 32.7 million years ago. Wow! During the Polynesian period within this family, the genus Pelicolumba, Diverged within this family 28 million years ago in 1988. Yes, only 
a forest cover remained on Negros. Whoa! Wow. So there are only a really few Negros bleeding heart left? I almost feel sorry for them. Yes. So, well, this on Panay, this was only 8%. Today, the shrinking forest fragments are still being cleared for timber, charcoal burning, and to make way for plantations and crops. Yes. Studies and now 18 birds are part of the captive population and there are plans for rain reduction. Primary forests have been lost, totally destroyed. Oh no. On the gross and panel. Yes. Habitat degradation to clearance of agriculture. Timber and charcoal burning continues to pose a serious threat to remaining fragments. No, 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 no. But we, but even though we can still save them by planting more trees. Yes. Right, Kylie? And next, just as endangered as the rest of the animals, are hornbill. So there are different kinds of hornbill, hornbill here in the Philippines. First, Palawan or Hornbill Bill. and Visayan Hornbill and third Bill is Doro. Doro Hornbill. This is a Palawan Hornbill, a Visayan yes. and a Mindoro Hornbill. Yes. So, a Palawan Hornbill has Anthococerus marche as its scientific name and Visayan Hornbill as Penelopides panini as its scientific name and Penelopides mindorensis is Mindoro hornbill's scientific name. The hornbills are family of bird found in tropical and subtropical Africa, Asia and Melanesia. They are characterized by a long down curved bill which is frequently brightly colored and sometimes has a cascade on the upper Mandib. Yes, like that. Kylie, correct. The Palawan hornbill, locally called Kalau, is a medium sized hornbill with all black plumage apart from the white tail. So it all has a white tail but black feathers on its top. It uses to fly. Yes. So, males have a pale ivory yellow casque and bill with a black base to lower mandible. Bare skin around the eye and reddish brown eyes. Yep, just like this. So, it means this one is a male. Mm -hmm. No, it's a male. Yep, it works clearly, but this part of the bird is a beak. Correct. I see that now. Yes. With a black orbital ring, females are smaller with a smaller casque and bill with a grayish wash and with dark gray brown eyes. It is a noisy bird. I don't like that kind of bird. What about you, Kylie? Yes, I don't like that. Uh, I don't like the birds like noisy, you sleeping? No. Yeah, Philippine cockatoo. I only like that kind of bird. So, all stories of fossils, including secondary growth, it has also been found in mangroves, cultivated land, and bushlands close to forests. It is endemic to Palawan, found only the on the Kalamanian group of islands, Basuanga. Kalawit, Kulyon, etc. Oh man, I've already been to Kuron. What about you guys? Have you already been to Kuron? No, no. so you haven't been to Kuron. Yes. And haven't you noticed that there aren't any cornbills? Yeah. Palawan. And the Balabak group of islands 
The Palawan hornbill is diurnal and begins its day at first light. Yes, the Palawan hornbill feeds mainly on fruits. But insects and lizards have been recorded in its diet. So, it can also be considered as omnivores because yes. it eats plants and yeah. meat of other animals. Yes. So, the Palawan hornbill is classified as vulnerable due to habitat loss. Yes hunting for food and sport and trapping for the wildlife trade so the mindoro hornbill is a species of hornbill in the family of bucero today it is endemic to forces on mindoro in the philippines as is the case with all philippine terrific hornbills it has been considered as subspecies of p panipi it is the only terrific hornbill where both sexes are creamy white and black. Yes. So the Visayan hornbill, like this one, is a hornbill found in rainforests on the islands of Panay, Negros, Masbate, Guimaras, and formerly Tikau in the Philippines. Wow, so there are really interesting facts and interesting animals also the facts in the philippines yeah. it formerly included all other philippine terrific hornbills as subspecies in which case the common name of the combined species was shortened to terrific hornbill yes and that's it for today guys i hope you all guys learned something new from this video and what about you kylie what are all the lessons that you have learned from this lecture oh. no overfishing no killing of animals no, no cutting cut trees. trees yes not just us but also i want to encourage you guys to also Please do not hurt other animals. Birds. Yes. Don't birds. hurt Mother Nature's most majestic creatures. Yes. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to like this video and share. Thank you for watching. Yes, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.